Hello friends, it's really good to be with you again. In our encouragement from God's Word today, we have a psalm written by David while he was being persecuted by Saul. It's a plea for justice in the face of false accusations and persecution. And in it, David urges us to realise the true goal of life, to know God, and also the true reward of life, to see God one day. And in verse 8, we read a verse which says, Protect me as you would your very own eyes. And just as we protect our eyes, so God will protect us. But we mustn't conclude, however, that we've somehow missed God's protection if we experience troubles. God's protection has far greater purposes than helping us to avoid pain. It's to make us better servants for him. And God also protects us by guiding us through painful circumstances, not only by helping us to escape them. And then after the reading, I'll say a prayer and we'll finish by saying the grace together. And so today's reading is Psalm 17. I am innocent, Lord. Won't you listen as I pray and beg for help? I am honest. Please hear my prayer. Only you can say that I am innocent, because only your eyes can see the truth. You know my heart, and even during the night you have tested me and found me innocent. I have made up my mind never to tell a lie. I don't do like others. I obey your teachings and am not cruel. I followed you without ever stumbling. I pray to you, God, because you will help me. Listen and answer my prayer. Show your wonderful love. Your mighty arm protects those who run to you for safety from their enemies. Protect me as you would your very own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Don't let my brutal enemies attack from all sides and kill me. They refuse to show mercy and they keep bragging. They've caught up with me. My enemies are everywhere, eagerly hoping to smear me in the dirt. They're like hungry lions hunting for food, or young lions hiding in ambush. Do something, Lord. Attack and defeat them. Take your sword and save me from those evil people. Use your powerful arm and rescue me from the hands of mere humans whose world won't last. You provide food for those you love. Their children have plenty and their grandchildren will have more than enough. I am innocent, Lord, and I will see your face. When I awake, all I want to see is you as you are. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you know the cares and fears of your children. Grant that we will remember that your care for your people is never in doubt. Teach us to cast all our cares on you. Give us quietness of mind and fill us with your peace which passes all understanding. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.